students, it's Mr. Ruth here. We are, we played around with physics games and it's time to get started actually creating one. Well, Click Team has been uh, really nice to us and they've given us a couple of tutorials we can work with. We are going to do the all boxed up one. So fire up Fusion. You're going to start by creating a brand new game. Do a file new or click on the, uh, the new. And let's name this. I notice um, sometimes you guys accidentally create new games and you have them like all piled up over here. This one's called Application 8. Let's just right click on it and hit rename and we'll name it All Boxed Up. Excellent. Alright, now let's fill the frame in with all the goodies. This is part one. We're going to do the whole frame and then in part two we'll go into the event editor and uh, where the magic happens. Okay, so uh, let us start out. Let's add a physics engine to this. So we'll right click. We'll do an insert object. Go to your physics and click on your physics engine. Very good. We'll put that over on the side. Okay, next. Why don't we have some ground? I like ground. Ground is nice. Uh, so we're going to go into our library and you'll probably see it like that. You expand it and you've got backgrounds and games, all kinds of neat stuff. Go down to the bottom and again click team. That's the name of the company. has been like super nice to us. Click on tutorials, all boxed up library and here's all the stuff we need. Fabulous. Okay, so let's bring the ground in and we'll pop it right in the corner there. That looks fabulous. Now we're going to extend the ground along the whole bottom. Uh, and we need a couple for the air too. So we're going to need about 16 boxes all together. So now we don't want, you can see right here, we have one uh, ground piece in frame one. And that's all we want. We don't, if you have more than one ground up there, you're doing something wrong. Um, because if you have more than one, you'll have to define the properties, you know, how it acts. And, and why would you want to define that for more than, you know, if you got 16 boxes, you don't want to go in 16 times and define how it works. You just want to define it once. Okay. Um, so this is kind of like your, 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 your cookie cutter. And these are your cookies that are coming out. And they're all going to come out identical to this one up here. All right. Anyway. So let's make 16 of these boxes and we're going to do a duplicate. Okay, do not do clone. That makes individual ground pieces. We want to use duplicate. And we will have uh, one row going across and we will have 16 columns. So, okay, you can always see my emails coming in. That's kind of weird, huh? All right, so let's say okay to that. And now you can see we've got 16 of these little guys, but we only have one up here. Good? Yes, good, very good. Okay, uh, let's set up the properties of that. So you can see we've got the properties already there. If for some reason you can't see your properties, remember, view, toolbar, here's all your toolbars. Nice. All right, so what is the properties of this? We're going to click on the movement, and I think we're going to say that this is a physics background, just like we did when we practiced. Okay. Uh, and we want this to be an obstacle. So, can you find obstacle? There it is, obstacle. And we'll say, yes, it's an obstacle. Isn't that cool? Do you see the platform in there? We can... Platform games, uh, maybe later on. Okay. We are looking good now. Uh, let's see, what should we do next? Let's put in a, uh, hmm, let's put a crate in. We want to bring our crate in? Yeah, let's bring our crate in. A crate, this is the thing we're going to be shooting at. Just pop you right there. And you know, this is going to fall down just like the little boxes when we were practicing. Okay, so let's set up our crates properties. 
And just like in practice, the movement, you click on the little blue guy, is going to be physics static movement. Uh, and then let's check here uh, the rest of it. We want to make sure the collision shape is a box because it's a box and it gives the computer kind of a heads up as to how to make it fall. You know what I mean? And then a nice smooth rotation so it looks pretty when it falls. All right, so we got a box. All right, now we need a place to put these boxes. We're going to put them on a ledge, which is basically going to be two of these um, pieces. See how we made two extra? We're going to use these two extra pieces and, and bring them up here. Okay, so I'll grab this piece and we'll put it right around here. Now somewhere around, somewhere between 250 and 300 um, on the y-axis would probably be good. Uh, notice where it is right now. If I, um, I, I'm point, I can't point with my hand. All right, so, all right, so follow the mouse here. If you come down here, this cursor tells you where on the x-y axis your cursor is. Okay, so you can see as I move along the x-axis, the first number changes. That's your x number. As I move up and down, that's the y-axis, and the second number changes. Okay, so that's, and if I go up to my box, you can see it's around 250. Yeah, let's bring it down tiny, but let's bring it down to like 260. That's great. And now I need the second one there, because we're going to form a little ledge, and we want to put eight boxes up there. We'll bring the second one up there. We'll pop it in. And you see it's hard to put this in properly. So what you can use, do is use the arrow keys. I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to move it to the left once and I'm going to move it up once with the arrow keys. Let's see how that works. That's pretty good. Okay, good. All right, next, let's go back to our crate. We got our crate set up. We need eight of these crates and we're going to put them on top of the ledge. So again, we don't want any more crates appearing up here in our workspace. So let's right click on the crate and we'll say duplicate. And we'll do, let's see, how many columns? We'll do two columns and we'll do four rows. You got that? All right, very good. Now I've got eight of my little boxes. I can highlight them. Um, uh, and I, or I could hold the shift key down and I could select them one at a time. I'm holding the shift key down. And we can just pop them up here. All right, that looks good. Um, I think we need a little sky. A sky, a little sky would be would be pretty here. Let's go to our library, and we should have some sky. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Let's bring some sky in. Oh, that looks nice. That's a nice little background. Notice it goes right behind it because it knows it's a background. It can't be in the front. All right, what else we got going on here? We got our crates. Oh, we need Ken. <laughs> Ken is this little guy that's going to attack the boxes. We're going to fire him at the boxes. Um, you know, it's funny. I don't have any students named Ken right now for some reason. Maybe it's not like a super popular name. Oh, I had a really good friend named Ken. Uh, he was at my wedding. Anyway, uh, that's <laughs> enough of that. Let's find Ken. He's in the library. There he is. He doesn't look like my friend. Although my friend Ken did smile a lot. All right, so here's Ken. Now Ken, we're going to be shooting him fast like a bullet at at this the uh, boxes and trying to smash them over like an arcade game or like you're going to you know you go, to, you go to the fair and you give the guy 3 bucks and he gives you a ball and you have to knock over some milk cartons or something. That's kind of like what we're doing here. Except you don't have to give the guy $3. And he won't cheat you. The, God, I did that. <laughs> Every time I've ever done that, I, I hit it. And then they're like, oh, you went over the line. You have to do it again. And, and they make you do it until you miss. <laughs> it's great. Okay, anyway, uh, let's do Ken's properties. And let's not talk about Mr. Ruthier's uh, times at fairs when he's been cheated. All right, so Ken, you click on the little, again, the little uh, blue guy running. And he is going to be physics bouncing ball. We want him to bounce all over the place after we fire him. His initial direction is going to be 
toward the boxes so it's going to be kind of like a northeast. So click on initial direction and clear it out and we're going to use um, these northeast ones here. I want you to notice when you put your mouse on the little square it tells you the degrees uh, that you're, you're that degree that you're shooting in the circle. Um, now you guys are all like super math experts so you should know that circles have 360 degrees yes all right so we're gonna shoot at 11 you see that 11 appear right there 22 33 and 45 so those are our directions now just click anywhere outside of that box to make that go away and you can see your directions in there the degrees the initial speed let's set that to 35 now I'm going to use the tab button to tab down these things and there's deceleration deceleration is um, it's kinda like uh, what drag is in the real world if you're moving through the air the air is slowing you down um, if you're moving through space space doesn't have anything to slow you down so you just cruise through it you never decelerate so there's our deceleration at seven let's tab down some more density is good friction is good all right elasticity that's how much this thing is going to bounce we're going to lower that to 40 uh, let's go down to fixed angle and turn that on scroll down some more collision shape is already set to circle smooth rotation and let's turn on bullet bullet warns the computer that it's going to have to make some serious calculations because this thing's going to be moving really fast uh, the last thing we'll do is we're going to get rid of Ken. We're going to go to the runtime options right there, and we're going to create him with a mouse click like we did um, in our practice. Cool. So now you've got Ken. Uh, we just need a few more things here. We're going to put in um, the speed at which we're going to fire. It's a power meter. So let's go down to our library. Uh, and let's, let's put these in in order. Uh, the top one is going to be your, your, your plus button, and this is going to be um, the higher the meter goes, the, you know, that's a, that's a plus. Uh, the second one is going to be, let's put the meter frame in. This is just an outline. And then we're going to put the power meter inside the meter frame. And if it doesn't go in exactly, you can just click it and use the arrow trick. I'll just move over one see if that does it that looks good and then under that we'll put the minus button and that shows you know as it goes up it's plus as it goes down it's minus okay so there's our power meter and the properties of this power meter you just want to click on the don't click on the frame click on the meter see it says power meter and if you go over to the very first setting under properties it's called setting it's got the little red check mark let's set the initial value a little bit higher to 140 the minimum amount of power is zero the maximum is 255 uh, finally we'll add um, some lives score and one other little thing so here's some lives let's take those and we'll put those up in the top right corner you get three lives to start. Uh, the score button right here we'll put underneath the lives. There's your score. And finally we have this little direction object. What this does is it detects the direction that you're shooting. We'll put that out, um, out of the way, out here in uh, La La Land underneath the physics engine. Alright, so that is our setup, and our next step, we're going to create our events, and we're going to make this thing happen. Because, you know, right now, nothing happens. If you, you know, if you test this thing, you know, everything just falls, and, you know, <laughs> there's nothing going on, okay? So we need the events to really make the, the magic happen in this game. Okay, uh, so why don't you save this? If you already changed it to all boxed up, if you do a file save, it'll save it to that. Um, you just want to make sure, yeah, make sure that this thing is saved. Okay, all boxed up. 
and uh, look at it. it's going to save it as application name. Jeesh, you'd think it would know. All right, all boxed up. All right, let's change it. Very good. All right, good show. Um, the next video we'll do the events. Okay, uh, where the heck am I? Uh, <laughs> I lost where I was. There I am. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.